A University of Arizona researcher is growing cartilage from stem cells taken from fat tissue. He says that cartilage could repair small defects or large areas of damage seen in many arthritis patients. Leslie Mouton shows us one day it could eliminate the need to put plastic and metal in people's knees. This is, oh my goodness, another cute dog. Cindy Lochran walks with Ellie to ease arthritis pain in one of her knees. It can be very painful. It's definitely very restricting. It's one of those things that I have to take into account every single day. We want that uh, scaffold to be really stable so that the cartilage layer can grow on the surface. A few miles away at the University of Arizona, Dr. John Civic is growing cartilage that someday might help patients like Cindy avoid a total knee replacement. He puts the stem cells on tiny scaffolds after extracting them from the fat tissue and removing non-functional stem cells. We're hoping that using a purer stem cell uh, batch, if you want to think of it that way, will uh, produce more consistent results and uh, produce results that we can use in patients that have a lot of damage. The scaffold is identical to the bone surface the new cartilage will eventually cover. These are two views of stem cells growing on top of cartilage. Dr. Civic says side effects will be minimal since it's the patient's own cells. They should recover faster and the repair should last a lifetime. To have something in between that would avoid that total joint replacement would be huge. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.